In 2025, something big is brewing behind Koenigsegg's sealed doors. And it's not just another performance tweak. This isn't about keeping up. It's about leaving everyone else behind. If you're looking for what Koenigsegg's doing, you won't find it anywhere else. Buzzwords like new engine, electric domination, and wipe the floor started flying after a cryptic, spine-tingling quote from Christian von Koenigsegg himself. We never stop developing it because it unlocks incredible freedom for the combustion engine. No flashy reveals, no hyped-up teasers, just a quiet, deliberate move that could completely shift our understanding of performance cars. Think EVs have already won? Think again. Koenigsegg might be about to flip the entire narrative, and no one is ready for what's coming. The Art of Speed, Koenigsegg's Relentless Pursuit of POW From day one, Koenigsegg refused to play by the industry's rules. While other brands built oversized teams to chase track records and flash their badges, Christian von Koenigsegg was crafting pure speed machines, missiles with license plates, from a modest facility in Engelholm, Sweden. No bloated marketing campaigns, no resting on heritage, just one uncompromising vision to build the most advanced, mind-blowing performance cars on Earth and prove that one fiercely focused team could outthink the Titans. Their debut, the CC8S, was a shot across the bow. Then came the CCR, briefly crowned the world's fastest production car. But it was the Agera RS that made the world stop and stare. In 2017, it shattered the production car speed record, 277.9 miles per hour, without breaking a sweat. It didn't just beat the competition, it embarrassed them. While everyone else talked traction control, Koenigsegg was out there rewriting physics. But this obsession with speed was never just about straight-line performance. Every detail, from the monocoque tub to the triplex suspension, reflected a philosophy. Everything must serve performance, and anything that doesn't, goes. No fluff, no gimmicks, just raw engineering. And that's what separates Koenigsegg. It's not just about horsepower, it's about control, balance, ingenuity. Then came the Regera, a car that didn't even have a traditional gearbox. Koenigsegg called it direct drive, a revolutionary setup that eliminated the need for gear changes entirely. The result? Seamless acceleration with hybrid torque that could turn your insides to soup. And yet, even with three electric motors and a twin-turbo V8 under the hood, it somehow felt elegant, like the world's fastest grand piano. Of course, none of this would matter without the man behind it. Christian isn't your typical CEO. He's part inventor, part speed freak, part philosopher. He once said, why do we build fast cars? Because we can. But that doesn't mean it's reckless. There's always purpose behind the madness. He's obsessed with thermodynamics, power to weight ratios, and how to extract more energy from less fuel. He's also one of the few people who can sketch out an engine idea on a napkin and then watch it come to life six months later. Behind every Koenigsegg model is a years-long process of trial, failure, reinvention, and finally perfection. And once it hits perfection, they start again. Because in their world, good enough means nothing. It's why they handcraft components other manufacturers outsource. Why they invent their own carbon fiber technology. Why they built a 3D printer just to make titanium exhaust tips. Every shortcut avoided is a second shaved off the track. That mindset is what turned Koenigsegg from a boutique supercar maker into a name that makes Ferrari and Bugatti lose sleep. Koenigsegg is already operating in a different dimension. Their motors aren't just efficient. They're integrated. Their hybrids don't just comply with regulations. They outperform everything around them. And Christian? He's not chasing trends. He's setting new ones. Still, there's something else brewing. Something that hasn't been revealed yet. Insiders have reported strange test rigs, patents with abstract diagrams, and the quiet recruitment of energy specialists from outside the automotive world. There's a feeling inside the company, hard to pin down but impossible to ignore, that something big is coming, and it won't just be an update or a facelift. It'll be a challenge, a statement, maybe even a declaration of war against the idea that electric cars already won. They didn't mimic Tesla. They didn't chase Remac. 
They built something uniquely Koenigsegg, a system engineered for purity of performance, and it paid off. While many EVs are crowned the new kings of speed, Koenigsegg's hybrids have quietly outpaced them. They're lighter, more thermally stable, and engineered to maintain blistering performance lap after lap. Their top speeds? Still largely untouchable by EV-only hypercars. But Christian's critique runs deeper than raw numbers. It's not just about physics or feel. It's about what kind of automotive future we're creating. He's spoken frankly about the overlooked costs of EV production, the environmental toll of battery manufacturing, the mining, the finite resources. Something changed at Koenigsegg in 2025. After months of uncharacteristic silence, the kind that only ever means something big is brewing, Christian von Koenigsegg finally emerged, measured, calm, and, as always, precise. What followed wasn't a teaser or a flashy concept. It was an engine, a brand new combustion engine, not a modified V8, not a scaled up TFG, and definitely not a placeholder for electrification. This was Koenigsegg's answer to a question no one else in the industry seemed brave enough to ask anymore. What if combustion still had more to give? They built it from scratch, compact, aggressive, and impossibly efficient. It runs on synthetic e-fuel, produces near zero emissions, and weighs less than any comparable power plant Koenigsegg has ever developed. The design is entirely new. Short stroke, high revving, with quad turbos and a free-breathing valve system that responds in milliseconds to driver input. Every component was optimized for responsiveness, thermal efficiency, and power delivery. And the power figures? Let's just say this engine alone puts out numbers that most electric hypercars still struggle to reach, even with dual motors. But it's not about raw output. It's about the feel, the way it pulls from idle, the balance it brings when paired with Koenigsegg's already cutting-edge electric drive systems. It doesn't replace the electric motor. It elevates it. In 2025, it wasn't bravado. It was confidence, backed by years of obsessive development. While other manufacturers leaned harder into batteries, Koenigsegg went back to first principles, rethinking what an engine could be in a world obsessed with silent speed and synthetic thrills. The result isn't a rebellion. It's a revelation. This isn't the end of Koenigsegg's hybrid future. It's the foundation of it. An engine that brings the emotion back to performance. An engine that doesn't just survive the electric age, but challenges it. And if Christian's right, it may have just redefined what comes next. So now the question is, if Koenigsegg just built a machine that outperforms every EV and keeps the soul of driving alive, is the electric revolution already outdated before it even peaked?